Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis episode six with our series here. You're going to notice a couple of things uh, as soon as we start in. You can see we're already on year 2268. You're going to notice I have a ton of Genesis points, uh, which might catch you off guard a little bit. And you're going to notice that Earth looks pretty much blue. So a lot has happened off camera between episode five and episode six. And uh, some of it required me to do some stuff off camera and it got a little crazy here. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and approach the Genesis points uh, situation first. So the developers of the game reached out to me and they uh, mentioned that they really enjoyed my videos. So they wanted to help me out a bit. Um, so they sent me some Genesis points, uh, which basically was um, uh, something to help me be able to progress the videos a little bit faster. Because as you guys know, watching these uh, Terra Genesis videos, they do take a lot of time, mainly because I'm waiting for things to build. So this will help out speed uh, uh, video output a lot faster than it was before. The next thing is looking at uh, Earth here. It is blue. It's a lot of blue. In fact, we've lost pretty much all of the continents. And I'm going to show you why this happened. So I actually left the planet running overnight for the first time since I've loaded up the Earth playthrough. And it almost killed the planet. Uh, 13 million in her efforts to colonization. If you accept their investment, they will expect to be given expanded rights on Earth, signifying a 10% reduction in the independent movement. I refuse. Okay. So. What ended up happening was the temperature, obviously, as we know, is, is high. But um, the pressure has gone up. And the pressure gone up, it started to... Because um, of fissure vents, it started to thicken up the atmosphere. And then, in turn, uh, with the heat up we had vapor in the atmosphere which started turning to water there was a there's a combination of a couple of things that caused this to happen global warming minus 57. no either way what ended up basically happening is this started going up a lot and you can see it almost went up 200,000 centimeters or 150,000 centimeters before i finally caught it so, yeah, it wasn't good. I actually lost most of our colonies. I had to rebuild a lot of them. We've got oxygen pressure, temp and water. Everything else has been completely and utterly destroyed. Uh, it took me everything I could to balance this out. I did want to record myself doing that, but it, it didn't happen over the course of like a video. Um, and I didn't have the Genesis points at the time of me doing it. So it was a lot of like sitting there biting my nails waiting for like things to tick over because I was super nervous we were going to lose the planet and I'd have nothing to show for it. But I managed to luckily stop the water and I actually did that by turning one of these off. So I'm going to turn this on so you can see what happens. And it might not happen this time. I don't really know all the mechanics that went into work for causing this. But now temperature's at negative two. So temperature's going back down. So if I go to water, water is going up. See? So that's the issue we're having. I can't reduce the temperature without water going up. We get global cooling, which I'm assuming is dropping the vapor in the atmosphere. I'm not really sure what's causing it. So I have to, I have to cancel this global cooling. If I'm going to lower the heat, I have to cancel the global cooling. Well, we don't want water going up because that's really bad. So we're going to go back here, back into uh, temp. And we're going to disable this. We're also going to go ahead and build another cooling plant. Uh, as an emergency plant. Just in case one of these get destroyed. I've had, I've, on this colony in particular, I've had a very large number of meteors and earthquakes uh, destroying everything. It's just been a huge issue. Uh, I've never had this issue in other colonies. So I just got to kind of combat that as I go along. You can see that now that the water is going to be going down. Negative 69 giggity, and we're going to leave it at that. So 1.4 million and we got to get down back down to 1.2 million. It'll start unsurfacing some of the land masses that were underwater. I, either way, we've reversed potential doom because uh, if Earth becomes or if any planet you play in Terra Genesis becomes a water world, you can't build because there's no land. And if you can't build then you can't win. It's the only way to really lose Terra Genesis is by losing all the land. So I was really nervous that we were actually going to lose our first playthrough, but it didn't happen. Oxygen negative five. That's great. 
We're going to leave it ticking away at that. We got to get back down to 210,000. Um, pressure stabilized. I'd like to get it going back down again so we get to the 100,000. But right now, I'm happy with stabilized. Temperature going up. I want it to be going down, but I can't get it to go down until eventually we can offset the plus 28 for the global cooling. I got a couple of plans to do this. First, we got to keep working on the water area. We got two geo cisterns. We're going to go ahead and build another one. Actually, no. No, we're not. We're going to upgrade these ones. And we're going to go into the research screen. I've got some money to burn. And you can see that population is not going up for hardly any of these. We're really struggling to get population here. So I'm going to go into research. And I think we already pushed all the way to Hab Dome. Plus 10 oxygen, plus 20 water. We want to be able to cancel these out. For sure. So let's see. Automate nursery. No. No, I don't want to do that. What? Oh my god, they destroyed temp. That's not good. That's really bad. All right, so I could do a hab dome, but I don't think I can afford the plus 10 oxygen plus 20 water. Actually, the plus 20 water we can offset. The plus 10 oxygen we might be able to. Let's get a hab dome. We need to start getting hab domes put up. Plus 10 oxygen. Let's go ahead and try and offset that. We've got oxygen here. This is minus 22, which has really helped us out a lot. Next facility is at 500 pop. We can't get 500 pop unless we get this upgraded. Or we destroy something here and we replace it with a hab dome. But that would require us to cancel out even more oxygen. But it would open up more facilities for oxygen. So let's demolish this and we'll upgrade this. And we're going to also build a hab dome here. Now hear me out. This is going to work. Okay. Do we not have the money to do it? Okay. Well, either way, we're going to build a hab dome here. That's going to be the plan. Do I have enough to upgrade these? No. All right, no big deal. Let's spend our culture point. That delicious unity. It's 35% unity. So what are we looking at now? Plus 10. Okay, that's a little too much, but we're going to fix that. Oxygen minus one, as long as it's not going up. Water going down rapidly with global warming being so high. Uh, not that that's a bad thing, but obviously we don't want it to go down too fast too. So we've got to get temp under control. Right now it's not under control until the hab dome's done. And we can actually hurry the hab dome just so we can get that uh, doing its thing. Population will start going up here. There's other ways to increase population, obviously getting the children's creche or the spaceport. Um, but we don't need to rush it. We'll just let population flow at its normal pace. I definitely don't want to rush it. How's Rusty Bellow looking? Okay, this is bent. This is empty. Four thousand credits. We can afford that. Let's go ahead and see what else we can find here. There's a lot of silver here. You can see I already got a mine on it. How about iron? A lot of iron there. It's not bad. Carbon's not really a money maker, but it's it's better than nothing. Ooh, that costs two hundred thousand though. Eleven hundred, we'll take it. 
Okay, perfect. So the hab dome's on temp now. Okay, what's everything look like now? Water stabilized a little bit. I don't want to go in that fast. Okay, 49 I can handle. Minus 20 there because of the hab dome, or plus 20, I'm sorry. So you can see it right there. So we got to cancel out the hab dome once it comes time for us to stop the water levels going down. Hab dome also producing oxygen. How's that going for canceling itself out? Plus nine, we're gaining oxygen again. That sucks. That sucks. Well, we can get some more credits if we need to. We'll go ahead and do that. So we can make sure these are all stabilized before I leave the planet. Unstable again. I don't want to come back to a planet underwater. I wanted to build a hab dome here. Eventually I want hab domes everywhere. But I better get the oxygen under control before... Oh, we got a hab dome here. I better get the oxygen under, under control before I do that. And to get it under control, I need more facilities. So the hab dome does have to be built here. What the heck did I do? Oh. Oxygen. Um, million should get us by. All right, so let's go ahead and confirm that to be upgraded. Um, the Hab Dome. That's going to add another 10. So I think I might hold off on the Hab Dome. Uh, what we'll need, let's see, so 20 water and 10 oxygen. If we get the carbon fixer, we can use 40 oxygen. Um, that'll get us four hab domes. We just have to offset the pressure. If we do 40, um, the electrosis plant for the 40 water, that count, that covers two. Oh, no, the ice launcher. That's easy, easy, easy. Get the carbon fixer, 40 oxygen, 4 hab domes, 10 pressure, and guess what? Ice launcher, 120 water, that's 4 hab domes, minus 10 pressure, they'll cancel each other out. The carbon fixer and the ice launcher will cancel each other out so long as we have 4 hab domes. So we're going to want to get both of those, okay, that's good to keep in mind, so I hope everybody's on the same page with that. All right, perfect. So that's what our planet looks like right now, but I'm going to let the planet tick by a little bit longer because at this point, there's kind of an awkward combination between waiting for stuff to go down and uh, I got some stuff building. I can spend the Genesis points, but I'll just hold on to them because we've got to let this stuff go down anyways. This is going up, but we'll have that stabilized soon. Water's the big one. You got to expose some more land here if I want to build another outpost. I'm kind of at that awkward stage where I want to have another outpost as well. Take a look at the biosphere. We still have, um, damn you. All right, so that's attacked. All right, so we'll deal with that. We still have a couple of uh, life forms on the planet. If we can get these, everything stabilized, then they might actually stay around. Oh, okay, pressure. Yeah, we got to get you under control. So I guess uh, we're going to get more... We're going to have to build another hab dome, but I'll wait for this to take by off camera and then I'll build it. So, All right, perfect. So we're going to leave it off here, though. And uh, like I said, more Terra Genesis videos on the way. And uh, they're going to come a lot quicker now. I apologize for them being so slow just with everything going on. Um, it's been uh, tough for me to balance these ones because of waiting for everything to tick by but now that I got the Genesis points and stuff I'm going to be able to deliver this guy a lot quicker to you guys and then lots of Terra Genesis coming in the future I've got all sorts of planets now and I've got lots of planets I want to play so definitely keep you know if you got a suggestion leave it down below I'll probably hold a vote on my channel in the community tabs um, and I'll organize the vote based off of the suggestions that you guys give me in the comment section 
So if there's a planet you want to see, post it down there. There's a big probability it'll end up in the vote. And then from there, we'll see what gets voted on. And that'll be my next planet. Eventually, I'll probably cover all these planets, but um, I'm just doing them in the order that you guys want to see them. So with that being said, thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.